Hi there, and welcome to the Roku Developer Series. My name is Jonathan Duvall, and I'm a senior technical writer here at Roku. I'm going to be teaching you how to develop for the Roku platform. Through a series of videos, samples, and exercises, you will learn how to create fully featured, high-performance Roku channels. Before getting started, let's make sure you're ready. You need to have a few basic items such as a computer and a Roku device. You can get a Roku device from Roku.com, your local electronics retailer, or a second-hand marketplace. Having dual monitors will enable you to watch these courses on one screen while programming and testing on another. You also need to create a Roku customer account and enroll in the Roku Developer Program. The Resources section has links for completing these steps. Once you finish enrolling in the Developer Program, Spend a few minutes on the Roku Developer site. It is loaded with helpful resources for Roku developers. This includes links to documentation, developer tools, the developer forum, which is great for interacting with the Roku development community, and our knowledge base. Basic understanding of object-oriented programming and scripting will give you a good head start. This is because the channel UI is created with Roku SceneGraph which is Roku's proprietary object-oriented XML framework. And the channel behavior is defined with BrightScript, which is Roku's scripting language. Finally, if you're new to the Roku platform, watch the Getting Started video series before starting this course. Getting Started includes videos on the basics of video streaming and streaming on the Roku platform. Feel free to pause this video, check out the Getting Started videos, and come back here when you're done. Once you're ready to get started, we'll first walk through the customer and developer accounts that you need to create. We'll then review some basic development concepts and guidelines. This section will provide you with a foundational knowledge for creating Roku channels. And then we'll review how to create a content feed. With your accounts and content feed in place, we'll then start building a channel from the ground up. We'll create a number of essential screens in Roku channel UI, such as the grid screen for displaying and browsing content, the detail screen for providing information on content, and an episode picker screen for selecting different shows in a television series. We'll then integrate advanced features such as displaying ads, offering subscriptions, and deep linking into content. By completing this course, you will gain a deep understanding of Roku development. You will feel confident in building highly customized Roku channels. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more Roku developer videos, subscribe to our channel. And for the rest of the videos in this course, as well as additional demos and tutorials showing you how to develop on one of the world's leading streaming platforms, check out the link to the Roku developers video site in the description below.